questions. Now, I first had my hands on this CD, which is called Lila Single Soul, back in March, it would have been. Listened to it, absolutely loved it. And we finally got around to bringing you in, because I should say, uh, you've had other things on your mind, because you've done your GCSEs this year. You're just 16 now, are you? Yeah. So, how did they go? I don't know. You don't know. Yeah. Decision day's coming a little few weeks yeah. down the line, isn't it? Uh, Lila Single Soul. Um, this is Lila Hutchinson from A Musical Family. And I should just explain, uh, you may have heard another Hutchinson with me on BBC Radio Leeds, because this family is a really musical one. And the reason we have another Hutchinson who we've spoken to before is because Marcia Hutchinson is here. Hi, Marcia. Hello, Andrew. Who's one of our regular ones today. We're guests. But the reason Marcia in turn is here is because if I take you back well over a year now, the auditions for the BBC's Yorkshire Symphony at the National Media Museum in Bradford, it was your sister who actually came along for the auditions. You came along as well, Marcia. I yeah? did, yeah. And what musical family have you got? I know, Olivia, the older one, who's at Leeds College of Music, um, has always sung, and Lila's just sort of started singing, and the, the two sing together, they sing separately, and I'm not actually very musical, I'm kind of wondering where they get it from. How does it feel, sort of seeing this musical talent just bubbling up in the family? Well, it's quite weird, because I'm like general factotum, I just ferry them about, and organise stuff, and have you drunk water, and have you practised, and, you know, it's like, I've got a life, I've got a job as well, but I've got to try and... Um... At the moment, this is your priority, I can tell. <laughs> uh, tell me, Lila, where you were yesterday. Um, yesterday, I was in London meeting a record label. Fantastic. Are we able to have any idea where that's going yet? Yeah. Preliminary meeting, then? Yeah. Um, Lila Single Soul is four songs, Peace of My Mind, which I think you're going to play for us live this afternoon, yeah. Dribble the Happy Song and Ticking By, your general factotum has just handed me another CD. Does that mean that there are more songs now? Yeah. So what are we up to now then? Um, I think there's eight. There is, in addition, Al. Um, we've almost got a CD then all together, haven't we? Yeah. So we've got an EP originally. Yeah. And now we've got a sort of full CD. Working on a double album here. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, she's <laughs> written over 20 songs. It's just a question of recording so them. So where has this come from? Where has the, the interest musically come um, from? I've always been interested in music because there was always music on in the house when I was little. But when I was about 14, I started to learn to play guitar. So I figured if I could play guitar, then I could write songs. And if I wanted to write songs, then I'd have to be able to sing them as well. Because the best way to get your songs out is to be able to perform them yourself. Yeah. That's an interesting sort of order. Uh, we often talk about where songs come from, Roger, don't we? And just mm. hearing that, you know, it, it, that's an interesting story, isn't it? Yeah, very much so. I have a similar one as well. Just, you know, uh, wanting to try and play the guitar, not really being that interested in having music lessons. Did you have music lessons? I did, yeah. Yeah? And I think I learned how to play three chords and that's it. I was off trying to write my own songs because that's what I wanted to do, you know. And what, when you talk about writing a song, what 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 are you trying to express there? What, because we we all, I mean, you're at school still. You know, we're all we have to sit down and come up with poetry, don't we? For example, yeah. what what are you expressing? What are you wanting to write about and talk um, about when you do a song? Just life, really. It's like a sort of therapy instead of maybe going to talk to someone or write a song about it. Mm -hmm. And what about the performing? Because, uh, you know, actually going to an open mic night or here on the radio or going down to see a record company in London, that takes it into a whole new dimension. That's not just the back bedroom, is it? Well, it might surprise you, but I'm quite proud of my songs. I'm not surprised. <laughs> so I like people to hear them and to like them. That's kind of all I want. Brilliant. And it's very early to be asking where you would like to go career-wise. You've got a sister who's studying at Leeds College of Music. Do you, even though it's very early on in life, do you still see music as a big part of that? I'm not sure at the moment. I'd like to carry on. Tell me about the, the cover of this uh, Lila single soul EP. I think you, you should just describe <laughs> that to me, Lila. Well, it's a lawn with a lady known and an elephant on it. So it's a garden, that's quite a fetching figure, Roger, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I noticed that though? straight away when you held it up earlier, Andrew. It looks like one of the seven dwarfs. <laughs> Is that right? A garden gnome version of one of the seven dwarfs. Now, what's the idea with that, then? Um, in the song that I'm about to play, um, I, w I wrote a, the first half of a verse, and then I couldn't think of anything to rhyme with it, so I rhymed gnome with it. And I like gnome. 
I think that's as good a reason as any, don't you, Marcy? <laughs> yeah. Just fabulous. I think you're going to really like this. I've only heard, it, heard the recorded version from her EP, Single Soul. This is Lila, Lila Hutchinson from Huddersfield, live on BBC Radio Day. She's going to perform for you now. Peace of my mind on the BBC in West Yorkshire. It's 19 minutes past three. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, yeah.